I don't mind saying I have an L-O-T of I-O-T. Welcome to the Drunk Linux User. I'm Len. I am the Drunk Linux User. Old man rant time. But honestly, everything that's new is not always all that great and shiny. And I am talking about the Internet of Things. And my LOT is lack of trust. There have been some really interesting hacks on the Internet of Things. For example, back in October of 2016, the largest DDoS attack ever was launched on service provider DYN, DIN, DYN, <laughs> using an IoT botnet. The hackable cardiac devices from St. Jude. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. How about the Owlet Wi-Fi baby heart monitor vulnerabilities? Or the TrendNeck webcam hack? Or the G-Pack? Now, apparently that G-Pack was just one, but think about this. They want to have more control over your car so that if they want to slow you down, shut you down, they can do that. I do not abide by this myself. I want to have a car that's kind of stupid and dumb and under my control. Am I going to go out and do anything stupid and make the cops have to force me over? I hope not. I hope I'm smart enough not to do something like that. But again, the trend is more control over you and also setting you up for failure if you happen to have bad actors in the background trying to mess around with your stuff. This article, Top Cyber Attacks on the Internet of Things Devices in 2021, the Fricata Breach. Hackers succeeded to access and control thousands of security cameras. Doesn't sound so secure to me, does it? Western Digital's My Book Live Attacks. Okay, now they did stop making these things back in 2015 or supporting them. But anybody who had one had their data, potentially had their data available to be wiped. Honestly, I don't know how this was pronounced, so I'm just going to give it a stab at it. The Botanago, Botanago targets millions of routers and Internet of Things devices. It's your router, man. It's your access to the internet. It's your ability to be able to pay your bills if you want to have a private message with somebody. Now, this article definitely states that there is a stronger push for security now with Internet of Things. And let's hope that it is definitely going to be on track to try to plug the holes in the dam that seems to be pushing and pushing and pushing us even further and further towards having everything hooked up to the internet instead of just taking care of things ourselves. And I thought this was pretty interesting. This is a Internet of Things village, and apparently this was an event that was going on. It'd be interesting to find out what happened. Honestly, I don't know enough about hacking at all to be able to understand exactly what they're talking about. But if they came up with some good things, that's great. If they didn't, and all they found were more problems, ugh, not good. Sponsors to this event were Microsoft, INE, Cujo AI, Hack the Box, Honestly, I only recognize a few of these things, but that just shows you how little I am in the community, but also I am worried about what we're going through right now. For example, I have an apartment. I live in an apartment. I rent the apartment. I do not own this apartment. This apartment comes with a Nest thermostat. 
This is a Nest thermostat, thank goodness, that doesn't have the camera. It has an optical sensor in it to be able to tell if it, if somebody's walking through the area. But sort of like, um, you know those electric eyes that you used to see in the, in the grocery stores a long time ago or department stores? It's that kind of thing. Anyway, I did go online and I found a place where you could actually change your how to make your nest thermostat manual I'm not gonna play it hopefully it doesn't autoplay but I'm gonna leave this link up there as well and I did this and as far as I can tell and again I don't know but as far as I can tell this is just acting as a normal thermostat thing about this is is that people will hook this up to their Wi-Fi which goes through the router and is, I don't know, old man rant time, all I'm telling you is I have a lack of trust when it comes to the Internet of Things. I do like to maintain some sense of privacy, and I just keep seeing more and more of our ability to have our own private lives being taken away from us. So, we're going to go with our words of wisdom. Don't drive drunk. Don't drink and drive. Don't go to Amazon, eBay, or use MS Edge all buzzed up trying to buy the latest, greatest, and coolest stuff because you're probably not going to get exactly what you want. Yeah, sometimes you get what you need. In the meantime, bottoms up. Later, dudes.